Welcome to the second day of the second concert drama presentation with the team then and now. Do you not know me? Mm, oh yeah, I know you now. I heard about you. You are the one with the big nose. Hey, hey, Captain, you shouldn't have said that to my friend. You are offended by my nose? He is no stranger than a dog with two tails. There was a poem I read one. It goes something like this. Roses are red, violet are fuchsia. What you miss out comes right back to here. Ah, how did you? Not at all. No! Hey, you know what happened? Why did you fall on my nail? That was a registered chow chow. She won prizes, but not anymore. <laughs> Have some respect, lady. This was the Earth's greatest hero. You know how many times we saved this planet? No, no clue. No clue? Can, can, can we go? Can we go? Well, you see, he got saved around like 20 to 25 times. Like, hey, you're kidding, right? You don't know about the aliens? Brains, brains, Alien? brains. Brilliant? Or, or the asteroids? Hmm, must have missed that on the news. You are the news? I know, I know. Entertainment tonight, the daily show, late late show, those go? No, stop it! Ah, the la 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 show. Shortly, the king will pass this way. And if we should ask you to whom this field belongs, remember to say to the Marquis out of Carabas, if you disobey me, you'll be taken away from this land. Legal, legal. Hey, the little lady, I'm a giant fan. I'm here to scare you because I know you just beat off me. Hey, get out of my way, you pair of fans. I'm not afraid of you. Get out, regular. Ladies and gentlemen, experience from the previous few batches of the intensive English program have driven several <coughs> changes and addition been applied in the current intensive English program drama performance. Instead of sticking to simple and undemanding dramas, we have decided to include more heavy dramas into our concert, such as The Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice, Hamlet, and Othello. I think you are already old to adopt to a more mature attitude to recycling everything, and for that reason, I'm out. Mercy, mercy, mercy. What can I say? I just don't think you have taken your opportunity seriously enough. I mean, where are your projection figures? Corporative sales prices, flip charts, multimedia presentation. You didn't even wipe your nose properly before you came out here. How about my little pony then? Sorry, Mercy, I'm out. I simply don't think that you are the right man for this trial, Your Honor. Unless a corrupt man is more fit <coughs> to judge a corruption. You say that I'm corrupt because of my success in a time of economic woe. But what about you, a servant of the people? How did you get so prosperous? I'm not on trial here, Mr. Capone. Maybe you should be. Unhand me! Get down from here! Order in the court. So, who should be on this trial here? A man who has people or a man who uses a boost his honorable position for person gain? Dr. Bumblecam, to examine Camilla. Most extraordinary. I have never seen anything like it. Are you having any coffee? No. Sneezy? No. Ronnie No. No. Hatches? No. Bed? No. Chill? No. Hot flesh? No. Dizzina? No. Rosina? No. Shortness of breath? No. Or uncomfortable twitching? No, I feel fine. You are also charged with corrupting the youth of Athens. What do you say to this accusation? This charge hurt me 
pity plea. My life has been a search for truth and wisdom. My students are as dear to me as beauty is to Athens. I could no more corrupt them than Antonian could defile the pattern. I want for them the highest of pleasures and the one true good. So how? Remember now? How dare you? Sound of it! Yeah! 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 Ah, miss me! Sound of it! Yeah! Ah, it's hot! It's hot! Gopal, are you okay? Hey, you! What did you do to your Gopal, huh? That's right. He's your best buddy, remember? Huh? My best buddy? <laughs> by an open window where the poly heard the soft wheeze and sucking noise. Life in the town of Hamley was pleasant. Or it would have been if not for the... The... The mayor turned pale. I have lost my story. <laughs> and she ran <laughs> from the stage. A horrified murmur rose in the room. Mr. Marble, the school teacher, tries next. My story is Jack and the Beanstalk. Again, when the poly heard the soft wheeze and sucking noise. There was a poor widow who had an only son named, named, oh no! He fled from the stage in oh. tears. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>